What's up, guys? Chozo Nomad here. Um, have you ever had one of those I can't believe this actually worked kind of moments? Um, because I did. I love these moments. This is hilarious. This is actually my second go at recording this. Um, I recorded like a six minute episode earlier and then went to edit it and realized none of the audio came through. So here I am going in. I fixed it, I think. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'll start crying in the corner alone. Don't judge me. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, um, I was building this guy. This guy's called the Litheron. Um, you'll see it in the next episode, which is classified for the time being. <laughs> anyway, so I was building this, and then... Ooh, ooh, look at the moon right back there. That's so cool. Let me put the brakes on. Yeah, brakes, brakes. Oop, I... Okay. Just sit on... Yep, sit on the ground. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Anyway. Uh, I love little things like this in Kerbal Space Program when you just load it up and you can get some cool, like you can have the moon or you can have Minmus over here or something like that. And then sometimes you get the solar eclipse. Just, that stuff's so cool. Anyway, going on tangents here. So yeah, I was building this guy and I decided to pull up the um, the center mass and center lift overlay just for giggles and realize that they're actually really close and this might make an actual viable atmospheric vehicle. So I went and tried it and actually got flight on my first try. Um, I was thoroughly shocked that this happened. And let's see if we can do it again, just so I can show you guys. Put those gears out. Boop. Boop. Oh, little flip, little flop. And lands fine. Cool. You were definitely going the wrong direction, though. You need to be going straight. It wobbles like nobody's business coming off the runway, though. So here's hoping it works the first time. Engaged. Anyway, um, I guess that's all I had to show you for the time. Okay, yeah. 